My friends, there's a company that quietly released an AI platform that could completely kill ChatGPT. And over the past couple days, I've been taking a deep dive into it. And so today I'm gonna tell you all about it, show it in action, and teach you how you can make hundreds of thousands of dollars leveraging this tool. And all that, you guessed it, without writing a single line of code. Welcome back to the lab, everyone. Over the past couple of weeks, we've seen so much hype around custom GPTs by OpenAI. But this company you might know that's called Zapier just released Zapier Central that is a complete game changer and actually, I believe, has an opportunity to go face-to-face -face with OpenAI. Let me explain and let's see this in action. So for those of you who don't know what Zapier is, it's an automation platform that is probably the leader in no-code automation. And over the past decade, Zapier has specialized in creating integrations with apps to the point at which you can today connect and take action inside of more than 6,000 different apps out there. But by adding a layer of AI and training AI bots to be able to take these actions on their behalf is actually a big leap in innovation. Okay, Christian, you completely lost me. What the heck are you talking about? Well, think of Zapier Central as a choreographer. And in this analogy, your apps are the dancers. Well, Zapier Central makes sure that the dancers execute their moves in the right sequence, order, and in exactly the way that you've taught it. So it allows you to create these highly trained AI bots that design and direct the way that data flows and takes actions between these different tools. So you can just chat with it and then it's gonna translate that into what actually has to happen as a command inside of each of these tools. And if you're confused right now, don't worry, I have some examples for you. You could, for example, have your bot send a message to the marketing team when a new lead came in and you could have that actually sent directly into a Slack channel. And it would actually understand that in plain English and execute it within these apps. So maybe the form submission is coming from Typeform and then we have HubSpot as a CRM that we want to send the information to and then it's going to send this notification inside of Slack. So it pretty much becomes an employee. You could also in just plain English have it read your emails in Gmail and when an email comes in that has specific keywords, for example the name of customer, well it could actually synthesize that and shoot it directly into your CRM notifying your sales team about the change or update in real time. And so as you can imagine there's a huge number of use cases but with all of these you have to take three important steps that I'm going to tell you now to get it right. The first one is to connect. This is what gives us the knowledge that we actually need, like a spreadsheet with the sales information. In it. The second thing are instructions. So this thing has to be prompted like all AI. So we need to give it a role. We need to give it a goal and we need to give it specific set of instructions on how we want it to actually execute that goal. And the third thing we need is to determine the specific action that we want it to take within each one of these apps. Now let's jump into the interface to see this thing in action so it can solidify your understanding of this concept. And I'll be showing you some very simple but incredibly powerful things that you can do for your own business or for some of your paying customers. Now, once you jump into Zapier Central and you've signed up, you're gonna be in this screen. And it's essentially gonna ask you if you wanna create a new bot, you can click on this button or you can create on this button. And then it's gonna open up a chat interface that's gonna allow you to essentially feed it data. So that's gonna be, you know, you wanna think of these specific behaviors that you want to happen. And then it's going to take these instant actions. So here I'm gonna use one of my real examples. Every time we get someone who joins our no code accelerator to launch and build a startup, we basically ask them a set of questions. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect this sheet or the answer to all these questions. And we're going to ask it for some insights. So I'm gonna start off by connecting a data source. As you can see, there are several different options. I'm actually gonna be doing it with Airtable. Then I'm going to go ahead and uh, look at this customer responses. I'm gonna add this as a source. And then what I'm gonna do, this is currently syncing, is that I'm going to, inside this chat, ask very specific questions. So, for example, what are the main goals that people have when joining our programs? It's determining, it's entering the data source, and here it's pumped out an answer, which is pretty incredible from about a couple hundred uh, people who have answered this survey. It tells me that uh, based on the collected here, the goals that people have joining the program, uh, building out their ideas. So their common goal is uh, there are 10 people who mentioned this, uh, learn no code tools. They come to our programs for help and support for the community and to build a startup. What if I took it one step further and since we asked them a little bit about what kind of thing they're trying to build, maybe it can tell us what the common use cases people are coming to build. Are there any specific types of businesses that people are coming to build? Let's see what it says. Self-employment, entrepreneurial ventures, consultancy roles. Okay, so it seems like people are trying to productize their service, which is a common thing that we get. I'm now going to create some instant actions. So for example, I'm going to tell it, okay, could you monitor the survey responses and on the last 
day of each month, send me an email report with an analysis of the newcomers. And it now tells me to be able to do that, you need to create behavior. Excellent. So we're gonna go ahead and it grabs the instructions here and then it's gonna use AI to suggest triggers. So here, for example, it's telling me, hey, the trigger could be the new response from SurveyMonkey. And then it's saying that here I have to connect my Gmail for the actions. So when this trigger happens, we need to get an actual response. So again, this is pretty cool. Let me just be specific here and say, I use Airtable for surveys. And you see now it's actually telling me, okay, I got it. We need to create for new records uh, inside of Airtable. And then once I'm done creating and adding these specific triggers, so for example, then here it's gonna ask me to connect Airtable, new records in which base, the same base that I had, which was customer responses, excellent. And then the specific table, I only actually have one imported table and then we're going to be able to add this trigger and it's going to be doing that. So now we've connected this for the new records and it's actually, again, suggesting specific actions. So this is really doing a lot of the work and then we can test the behavior of this. We can turn it on and off. Now, again, this is the first version of it. So I'll let you kind of check it out for yourself. I'm gonna be doing another one right now with a different use case. So I'm just gonna come to the left here, new bot. This time, what I want it to do, it's analyze some of the sales data that I have to get some insights so I can make some informed decisions moving forward. So let's go ahead and add a data source. Here I have a spreadsheet in Google Sheets. Every time we get new sales, I actually get them to be added to this. It's connected here. I'm then going to choose the specific one. Sales May 2024 and I'm going to ask it some questions and then I can ask for a specific behavior. So here I'm asking it, please analyze the data and send me an email with a report of our sales. I'm interested in knowing the total sales per day, the monthly volume, the sales per product, the performance of each one of my sales reps and the most successful week of the month. As you see, it's using the data source to answer the specific questions that I had. So it's doing these questions one by one. It's creating a query or a question to the database or this spreadsheet and actually receiving the answer to it. And if we open this up as well, we're gonna be able to see exactly what it's doing. So it's generated this code um, to be able to do this. And it has the answers right here, total sales per day. So I can go and check this out. It's basically grabbed the raw sheet and it's telling me what are the sales for each individual day of this month. Here it came in and checked out the actual product. Here are my salespeople. So we can see that Henry Ford is quite ahead. Oh boy, Elon Musk sold the least this month. That's pretty terrible results. I'm quite disappointed, Elon. I thought you were better than this. And now that it's finished thinking, as you can see, it has all of this information for me for my May report. I will now send you the report by email to automate, uh, create behavior. So then you can basically create the actions, right? So the trigger is um, X, Y, Z. Um, and then the action is send me an email with that information. This platform is still in very early beta, but what it allows you to do is to get and train AI agents that basically are working just like actual workers who are able to execute on tasks that are just higher levels. So this is a real taste of what AI automation looks like in 2024. And in parallel to Zapier launching Zapier Central, this first platform, it also acquired Vowel, an AI video conferencing tool, and made the CEO of that the head of their AI department. And so we can expect a lot more advancement coming up over the next couple of months. Now, this is one of many technologies that is completely revolutionizing the digital era. And if you don't want to be surprised by these new technologies disrupting people's jobs, then I highly recommend that you check out this video because I'm going to be talking about seven no-code AI tools that have the potential to make you millions of dollars in revenue. And if your mind is not blown by at least one of these tools, I will buy you a coffee, my friend, because these are on the bleeding edge of technological advancement. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And now I'll wait until you click on this video, my friend. Let's go.